Take a live look at downtown Belmont this morning. Oh, it's pretty gross outside. Really no other way to say it. Gray, gloomy, in some spots it's still raining. But the good news is it makes it the perfect excuse to stay inside, watch WBTV, and have a delicious bowl of soup. And Chef Lisa Brooks is here this morning. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, how are things over at uh, Heart and Soul? <laughs> Heart and Soul is gearing up for busy season. Yes. Yes. For the holiday season is, is time for dinner party celebration. Uh-huh. So we're getting ready. Chef Lisa will be in your kitchen. That's for sure. That's okay. Right. You, first of all, it smells delicious in here. Already. Uh, already. And you've barely done anything. What are you making today? I am making a coconut curry salmon and sweet potato chowder. Uh, hello. Yes, ma'am. All of the ingredients. All right. You <laughs> and I had a good conversation about curry today. Some people really um, have an aversion to curry, yeah. but they might not. Uh, they might have only tasted one kind of curry. That's right. There's so many different kinds. There's a Jamaican curry, a Thai red curry, Thai green curry, like an Indian curry. There's mm -hmm. you know the, this this co this wonderful coconut curry. There's lots of you know cultures that use curry. So um, if you try it once and like it, try it again. Try different different cultures versions. Sometimes yeah. they're sweet. Sometimes they're spicy. Sometimes they're really pungent. Yeah. Um, I'm actually using a what would be considered a Jamaican curry powder. Okay. Um, in this and in this dish. You're gonna use a little bit of, of coconut milk as well, which gives it that sweetness, right? Yes, I am. What did you already put in the pan? So mirepoix. Yeah. You got it. That's just you know. Carrot, goes without celery, saying. onion. Carrot, celery, onion. And a little bit of oil. Yep. We're gonna start with that. A little bit of olive oil, and then I've got my spices here. So this is my curry. Okay. And I've got. A black garlic powder, Ooh. which is a little sweeter, a little coconut sugar. Okay. And then I've got some minced ginger and garlic. Ooh. So all of this, everybody's going in the pool now. Yeah, all all of that. Get in the pool. You want to put the, your spices in at this point because you want them to be able to bloom or become fragrant. Yeah. In the, um, you know, while while it's cooking, you want to get that in there. It's such a tough balance, too, isn't it? Uh, between the savory and the sweet. You've got the coconut sugar, but you've also got the black pepper. Yeah. Like, you know, you've, you've yeah. really got it all. It's one of those things, I mean, cooking is largely about balancing those flavors, balancing the salty, the sweet, the sour, the bitter, mm. you know, the umami. So uh, knowing how to, to do that, it's like, oh, this is a little, like, a, like sweet things particularly, people make sweet things with no salt in it. And it's like, it's sweet, but like something's wrong. Yeah. You gotta have the salt. To balance salts of flavor enhancer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, got the, you smell that. I smell it's amazing. It. It's so now sweet. everything else is just kind of going in here. I got okay. some corn going in. Yeah. And, and I use frozen corn this time because I want to show people. And I actually found sweet potatoes already cubed Ooh. that were frozen also. Really? So if you don't want to chop up the hard sweet potatoes, which can be kind of a little, you know, tough with you know with your knife skills. Yes. Um, sweet potatoes <laughs> are the worst. Sweet potatoes and carrots, anything that's hard, you yeah. know. So we're gonna do that and now. What was the greens that you put in there? Oh, this was a little bok choy. Brilliant. Because why wouldn't I? We're yes. going to make this a little healthier with some greens. Now I'm going to put in, um, I'm actually going to put in water. This is supposed to be chicken stock, but let me show you my little secret. Okay. I use granulated chicken bouillon. Really? Right? Yeah. Because this is the, this is what I, we call magic in, my, in our kitchen. Mm. Heart and soul, we call this magic. You can make anything taste good, honey, with some <laughs> chicken bouillon. <laughs> I'm going to put some cilantro in here. Takes up less space in the cupboard, too. You got all this yeah. chicken stock or boxes of chicken stock. You just need the little... Yeah, you don't need the yeah, you don't need all those boxes. So when I do that, that's so I, that actually made that chicken stock, oh. right? You can use vegetable stock if you need to. Yeah. And now I'm gonna add the coconut milk. That's the rest of our liquid oh. going in. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh, is that thicken it up at all? What what kind of gives it that thickness? It will. It yeah. will. Um, of course, as you cook it down, you know the potatoes actually um, start to release some of the starch. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give you some thickness. The coconut milk also. Um, gives it thickness, and you'll see too when uh, the last thing I'm going to put in um, is the salmon. You just need that to get in until it's opaque. You don't want to put that in too soon. Okay. Last thing you're going to do is the salmon, and you're just going to cook this through. It'd probably be about five minutes total before you ever put the salmon in. Okay. Once the salmon goes in, it's probably a good three minutes. Warm it through until it's nice and opaque, and then are you bringing that to a boil when before you put the salmon in? Yeah, we're, we're doing a little accelerate it today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. You're going to bring it to a boil, let it simmer. Like, I would put a lid on this right now and just, you know, put it on medium and then just let it live. Go relax for a minute, you know? Yeah. Watch a couple of reels on Instagram. Uh huh. And then you come back and it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to totally have transformed that. Uh, bok choy will have wilted mm. and you've got your, um, you get your salmon nice and opaque and then you'll see it start to thicken up. 
Now, if you look at the bowl that's yes. already done over here, you can see the text. Look at the texture. Look at of that it. beautiful texture. Now it's really come together, right? Yes. Um, and that's what you want. It's so interesting, too, because I think some people might be like, ooh, chicken stock, but then you put salmon in there. Mm -hmm. It's okay to, do, to combine those two things. I use chicken stock with everything. Do you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> little look, little look <laughs> on your face. Can I try to, it? To me, it's like salt, absolutely. To me, it's like salt, but the salt with flavor. So notice we don't add any additional salt because the chicken bouillon is going to beef the salt. Oh, Lisa. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you might think, ooh, salmon, that's going to make it fishy. Mm -mm. Not at all. No. It just adds a nice little, ooh, that is good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um, that's ch life changing. <laughs> Listen, people are so like, good. it is so good. But you can use chickpeas, too. Like if you, oh. for a vegetarian, remember you use vegetable stock, you use chickpeas with the sweet potatoes. Mm. Honestly, whatever you can imagine. That curry is so good. I'm telling you, if you haven't liked curry before, try this one. All the information for Heart and Soul up on the screen. Uh, if people want to have you cooking for them in their house, yes. they need to do that soon, arrange that soon. Yes, our December dates are already filling up, so heartandsoulchef.com. You can just put in an inquiry there. We'll get back to you right away, and uh, we'll uh, make it happen. We help people celebrate life moments. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm celebrating right now. Like, this moment <laughs> is a celebration. Chef Lisa, thank you. Thank you for having we me. We adore you. Oh, that was so